Oh, right, lads, what I'm going to do. Right. What I'm going to do today is um, what I enjoy doing is uh, messing about in the shed. A couple of weeks ago I went on a little scavenging hunt. We went past a building site, a demolition site, sorry, in Liverpool. And I got a couple of planks, a couple of pieces of wood. I got this one and I cut up. I originally thought it was mahogany, but it turned out to be teak, which was nice. I made the base of a segmented bowl with one of these pieces um, in the last video. The second piece of wood I got was this one. Um, it was soaking wet, covered in mud. And when I seen it, I thought, oh, it's a piece of oak. And so I thought, I love that. It was about three foot long. Anyway, it turned out when I put a cut in it, it looked like hash. So what I've done is I've got a piece. I'll give you the measurements on this. This is. Um, it was seven and a quarter, seven and a quarter, and it's two inches. So I took a piece of that and I cut it into a circle, and it really does now look like ash. So this is the piece that I'm going to uh, work on today. Just have a little play with this piece. I'll put a all in the centre of this one. We've been left with um, six and fifteen sixteenths, just under the seven inches. So I'll probably lose three sixteenths or so by the time I've made this perfectly round. What I'm going to do is take my bottle stopper jig. It's on a number two Morse taper. And this is how I'm going to support it in the uh, headstock. So I'm going to put that into the uh, lathe. It's very light that, very light. We'll put it into the lathe. And we'll turn a small basic bowl with it. No idea at this moment what shape I'm going to go for, but uh, we'll get it cleaned up and we'll have a look. Let's head over to the lathe. It's only going to be a small dish. So what I'm going to do is just bring it into a bit of shape, clean the back end off, put a mortise in the back end stop and have a look at it at this particular point I've really got no idea how it's going to finish yet so let's do that and uh, just get it cleaned up and see what happens
we'll just put a little bit of polish on here. Um, I'm not sure, I, you know, I might have to do something to this edge. Yeah. We'll just we'll turn it round, put it in the chuck, turn it round, get it all old out, and then we'll look at uh, finishing it off. So that's all I'm going to do for the time being. Can you see that? Can I bring it in any closer? So as I say, we'll get it turned over and uh, we'll get the other side done. Right, we'll just start to uh, hollow it out and uh, see how it goes. And more or less now, where I um, where I want to be, the depth. So I'm going to do a bit of shear scraping now through it, smooth it off, and then I'll finish off with the uh, scraper. That's done a lovely job. Ready for sanding, so I'll uh, start sanding this up. And I'll come back to you before the polish. Well, that's the inside finished. So what I'll do now is uh, turn it round and finish the uh, foot off and uh, polish up the outside well that's the outside finished now and it's all done so I don't know, can you see that I'll um, I'll take it off, take it over to the bench and give you a better look at it see you in a minute ok, that's the end of that uh, there's the bowl just a basic bowl the, um, you put a couple of rings under the foot and uh, the light is pretty bad at the moment the sunlight's very bright that's it basic bowl enjoyable an um, hour or so messing about in the shed so until next time thanks very much have a toffee